A recent study showed that 52% of workers in the Niagara region are experiencing precarious work. Those findings were discussed today in front of an audience at the Niagara Catholic Education Center. The study called Poverty and Employment Precarity in Niagara, or PEPIN, involved a partnership between the United Way and Brock University. The study analyzed the results of a random sample of phone interviews with over 700 employed Niagara residents. So we were really trying to disentangle income from precariousness. And one of our arguments is that precarity is a problem for anybody. Uh, it's probably worse for people with low income, uh, but it's still a problem for, for all people of middle and high income as well because it makes it more difficult to plan time with people's families or just to, to maintain social relations if they're always scrambling for work. Unfortunately, the precarious employment trend is growing. Lori Kleinsmith was involved in the study and sees the impact of precarious employment in her work at the Bridges Community Health Center. We certainly have uh, a number of clients who are, I would say, work in precarious employment. Um, we see the impacts um, on things such as uh, stress, um, often um, very um, difficulties perhaps with balancing sort of their work and their life, um, as well as uh, lacking health benefits. So a number of, of people who, who come to Bridges do not have access to things like dental benefits, um, access to pharmaceutical drugs, and, and that also impacts their, their overall health. The study shows that precarious employment is more prevalent for those between the ages of 25 to 34. Well, there's sort of two reasons for that, I think. One is that, in general, younger people are still entering the labor market. And so I think historically we'd even see some sort of uh, sort of jitteriness isn't the right word, but some sort of uh, difficulty getting integrated into the labor market. But in addition to that, there's now this long tradition, probably 15, 20, 25, 30 years now, of just precarity becoming much more normal over time. Precarious employment is found across all income levels. It includes jobs with no benefits, contract work, and erratic scheduling. Um, I'd say over the last number of decades, we've started to see a shift more to what's called non-standard work, which would be um, maybe more involuntary part-time, so not choosing to work part-time, um, having to piece together a number of, of part-time or contract jobs to be able to, to make a living and uh, to provide for yourself or your family. We're in the middle of a provincial election. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed the topic of precarious well, work being brought up? Well, I'm seeing, I'm not hearing the term precarious employment as much as I'm hearing um, some of the elements of precarious employment. So certainly, again, many of the, the I know all of the parties have been talking about um, their approach to um, accessing dental benefits, accessing um, pharmaceutical, pharmacare benefits. So I do see elements of it being talked about. I think the, the big problem is, is that we still don't have a firm um, a really firm approach at a government level in terms of measuring and, and ongoing uh, tracking of precarious employment and trends and where it's happening in, in which sectors. It's definitely you know, more predominant in certain work sectors than, than others, so retail sector, um, uh, the education sector, and so on. This report can be found online at pepniagara.ca. In Welland, reporting for The Source, I'm Paolo Sotillo.